The Random Patrol module is a system that allows you to add semi-random patrols to your mission. It works by choosing a random group and a random patrol route you assign to it every time the mission starts. You can find the Random Patrol module in the Modules section under Sites or by searching for it. Once you place it down, you have two options for the setup. The first way is to manually place down units and sync them. Start by placing down civilians and giving them the, the patrol routes you want the module to choose from. The module will then pick one of these civilians and assign their waypoints to the squad that it spawns. Once you've placed these guys down, right click each one of them and sync them to the module. Next thing is to place down the units you want to have in your groups. This way it lets you set custom loadouts and squad compositions. Once you've created your groups, right click the leader of each group and sync them to the module. Note that you can also put vehicle patrols and motorised squads in using this method. Now the module will pick one civilian and one group at random and give the waypoints of the civilian to the group. As a side note, if you want some patrols to be more likely to spawn than others, just make a copy of them and sync that leader to the group as well. In this case, the infantry have a 4 out of 5 chance of spawning and the quad bike has a 1 out of 5 chance. The same applies to patrol routes. The other option for setting it up is to use config entry names of groups and name patrol routes. The main difference here is that you can only spawn default groups or those that are defined in CFG groups. To get the config entry, open the config viewer, go to CFG groups, select the side you want and then select the group you want. You need to copy the whole config name at the bottom here and enter it with parentheses around it. Separate each entry with a comma. Next you need to make civilians the same way we did before, except this time instead of syncing them, give them a name. If you end the name of the first object with an underscore 1, when you copy it, the next one will be called underscore 2 and underscore 3, etc. Once you've placed all of these, add their names to the module with a comma separating them. What's the advantage of doing this? I have no idea. You can't reuse any of the patrol routes with multiple modules, and to me this seems like a harder way of achieving the same outcome. If you know any advantages, let me know. Lastly, there is an option to have this module not trigger until certain conditions are met. In this case, I've told it to wait until a trigger has been activated. There are some problems with this though, because it will cause the civilians you've placed to just be left running around the patrol routes before the module is activated. I'd recommend disabling the simulation and the models for the civilian, as well as disabling damage so they can't accidentally be killed. Right, that's it. Do the subscribey thing or whatever.